We're told that we have an office building complex that's expected to attract 2,600 trips during the morning peak hour. We're asked to estimate the number of trips to, the to this development from each zone that's shown in the network described in the table below. There's three zones during that peak hour. We are told that there's a travel time information between this complex and each of the three zones. We're told the number of trips generated during the typical AM peak hour for each zone and the socioeconomic factor between the development and each zone. We need to keep in mind for this problem, we're working with the gravity model, and this is the trip likelihood is a function of the distance and the trip attractiveness. So we're gonna look for the total number of trips from various TAZs, the traffic analysis zones, from each of our three zones in this example to the office building complex. We're going to incorporate the number of trips from TAZA. And we're going to use the variables, the total number of trips attracted from TAZB, the distance or the travel cost, which is also known as the friction factor, the estimated parameter to ensure the results balance, which is also known as the socioeconomic factor. All right, so let's, let's dig into the data here. So we have our three zones. We're gonna kind of build off that table that we were presented at the beginning. We're gonna find our friction factor, our travel cost. This is one over the travel time from the development, from each zone to the development. We have the number of trips that each of the zones generates during that AM peak hour and then that socioeconomic factor that we're pulling over. Our next step is to multiply each of these three together. So again, we're just multiplying each of these to arrive at this new column. So we have 270 for zone one, 80 for zone two, and 469.09 for zone three. We're gonna sum this up so we get a total of 819.0909 and then we're going to divide each of these individual values by that sum so we're going to take 270 divided by 819.09 80 divided by the same and 469 divided by the same and essentially this gives us the proportion that we're going to distribute the traffic. So we're going to end up with 32.9% from zone one to the office park, 9.7% from zone two, and 57.2% from zone three. That's going to sum up to 100% here. And so when we're looking for the actual number of trips, this is what the question was asking us. We're going to have 857 trips from zone one to the development, 254 trips from zone two to the development, and 1,489 trips from zone three to the development. And this totals up to the trips that we are told that the office park generates. So the office park generates 16, 2,600 trips and they're distributed to, from each of the zones as we calculated here.